Welcome back to Moto Mojo. Today, I'm going to show you how to install this AXP plastic skid plate on the Yamaha Tenere 700. But before we get into that, I wanted to tell you why I chose plastic over metal to protect my bike. First off, AXP was developing HDPE plastic skid plates for hard enduro. I have no desire to put my bike through hard enduro conditions. However, I do plan on protecting it, and the AXP skid plate is pretty substantial. It covers quite a bit of the sides of the bike, the front of the bike, it protects the headers, the oil filter, the underside of the bike, which is where the exhaust is, and it even has a piece that protects the rear linkage to the suspension. A benefit that I thought that I would see from selecting plastic over metal was weight. However, that's not the case. The Camel comes in at 7.4 pounds. This AXP is 6.4 pounds, so the one pound savings is not substantial enough to list it as a benefit of choosing plastic over metal. This skid plate is so substantial that it actually encompasses the stock skid plate as you can see in this video. Another benefit of the AXP HDP skid plate is that it will take a hit and pop back into shape, whereas metal will retain the damage and the dents from rocks and boulders. Sound dampening is another advantage of the HDPE plastic skid plate when you compare it to metal. Now that doesn't sound like a big deal, however, when you're droning down a 20 mile gravel road, I'm sure that the sound of rocks pinging off of a metal skid plate can become quite annoying. The plastic will absorb those impacts and actually deaden the sound. I rode my bike down a gravel road the other day and didn't even notice any sounds of rocks hitting the plastic skid plate. Well, now enough of me droning on about why I chose plastic over metal. Let's get to the install video now. First, you need to install mounting blocks on the back side of the skid plate. These mounting blocks allow the skid plate to marry directly up to the factory mounting poles. Next, prepare the rear mounting block. This will be installed directly in front of the rear shock. The bike already has a mounting point for this block. Just thread the bolt through, tighten, and you're all set. time to mount the skid plate. Four of the bolts use the factory mounting holes. The only difference is the two rear bolts that mount to the block you just previously installed. Quick tip, make sure that all bolts are inserted before tightening any of them down. In other words, leave all the bolts loose that you install. This will allow enough room for adjustment to find all of the factory mounting holes. Once the last bolt is in, tighten them all down snugly, and 
and you're all set.